Did you know that every text you send, phone call you make, or email you write could be stored in a huge database for the government to see? I have conducted research concerning the topic of spying by the NSA and have the exact reasons for standing up to this and how it should be done. Today I will share with you why you should, why you should take action, how you do it, and what effect it may have on your day-to-day -day life to persuade you to do something about the unlawful spying by the U.S. government. According to the Edward Snowden Files by Edward J. Epstein, published in Newsweek Global, Edward Snowden was a man who worked for the National Security Agency before he released documents back in 2013 to the public. These documents showed that the NSA was collecting what they called metadata, text messages and phone calls, on all sorts of American citizens to foreign recipients. And they used this data and they would store it in databases under the pretense of counterterrorism to protect America. But what they were doing was actually in direct violation of the Fourth Amendment. So the Fourth Amendment says that the right of the people to be secure against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be infringed. This, as well as wiretapping, was conducted. According to Bastin Gelman and Ashkan Sultani's article, NSA ta reaching tracking cell phone locations worldwide, Snowden documents show in Washington Post, they have also been wiretapping phones, which means they go in and they are able to actively listen in on people's calls as they make them. Now, all of this was in violation of our rights as American citizens under the Constitution, specifically the Fourth Amendment. All of this would be fine if they had a warrant beforehand, but in many, many cases, they had no warrant to be able to do this and simply acted on their own. There are ways to prevent this surveillance. According to How Did We Let the NSA Spy and Get This Bad by Patrick Toomey and Brett Kaufman from The Guardian, action like the USA Freedom Act has already been taken. The USA Freedom Act was put into place a few years back to be able to put more restraints and to keep the NSA from doing exactly everything it needs to, it wants to do. So this shows that this was a congressional act, and this shows that in the future, we're able to pass more things like this, more laws, to be able to put limits on them. It's not, it's not completely out of the blue. But most importantly, what we should do is, as citizens, we need to study the candidates that we vote for to be able to see who is, are like-minded politicians who believe the same way that we do about the NSA so that we can have them in power to put tight controls. If we elect strong people to the legislature, for example, they can pass things like the USA Freedom Act to put restraints on the NSA. They can pass more laws to limit what the government can do with or without a warrant. If we elect a strong president, he can then elect a strong, he can appoint strong justices to the Supreme Court who then are able to interpret how the Fourth Amendment is to be used in this scenario. But all in all, we need to vote for politicians that are against the NSA. There are also class action lawsuits which you can be a part of. If you were asked to be a part of a class action lawsuit, well basically a class action lawsuit is when a single person or a small group represents a larger group in court against a party that is offending them in some way. In this case it would be a congressman or an attorney representing the American people to, against the NSA to keep them and, and the lawsuit is in violation of the Constitution. And this is according to Rand Paul, Matt Kibb, and Ken Cuccinelli in exclusive, Stop the NSA While We Still Can, from CNN. Basically, we just need to bring the NSA under stronger supervision and make it more transparent. Just imagine, in the future, when all this takes place, your texts, your calls, and your emails are all your own again. Your information won't be taken without your consent or without a warrant. Daniel Byman and Benjamin Witz say in reforming the NSA from foreign affairs that we can fix the agency. We don't necessarily need to get rid of it entirely. There's ways to put restraints on it and to limit it to where it's not so bad anymore. Like I said, we, we can go in there and we can say you need to have a warrant before you are able to do any of this collection of metadata. You need to be able to show proof to a court that you had a reason, a reasonable cause to go in and collect this data and breach privacy. We, we can also make it more transparent in that it publicly shows each time it does something like this so that we can know what it is doing and it's not always secret and behind our backs. But most importantly, this will lead to Americans in the future 
as well, continuing to fight for our rights as Americans and as citizens under the Constitution to be able to protect what we've been given. I have shared with you why we need to take a stand, how you can take a stand, and the improvements it can bring to society to persuade you to stop the NSA's actions. Thomas Jefferson once said, when government fears the people, there is liberty. When people fear the government, there is tyranny. So remember, do whatever you can, whether it be voting, speaking out, taking part in a class action lawsuit, and electing those men who are gonna be able to control the NSA and fight for our rights so that we can place a tighter control on spying so that we can protect our privacy once more.